So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to connect your Bluehost domain that's in Bluehost. So if you're using Bluehost for website hosting, you get the option for Bluehost emails. So how do you connect your Bluehost email? So log into Bluehost's portal. Under advanced, it'll be opening up a new tab with a long URL on top. So that long URL has something called box and then a number dot bluehost.com. Go ahead and copy from after cpanel dash, after the dash, copy that number. So just gonna control C on my end, I'm using a PC. Just copy that. Okay, now go to your DNS. Now it depends where your your name servers are. In my case, my name servers are in Cloudflare. So in Cloudflare, let's say, I'm adding the domain, right? So I'm adding the MX record, we're going to call it. The MX record is going to be at for the name. For the name ser mail server, excuse me, it's going to be what I copied from that long URL. For the priority, put zero. Once you add this and click save, it's going to be able to save the MX record. And, and that's all you need. So let's see what Bluehost says. Hi, Bluehost, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So Bluehost, we're waiting for someone to tell us what the MX record really is. Oh yeah, the MX record is mail, that, and then your domain name. And just to give you an update, there's an available supervisor. Are you still willing to speak with a supervisor or try? To sure, MX I'll record I'll talk I I'll talk with a supervisor. All right. Okay, please stay on the line. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Simon. So this gentleman just said that the MX record is mail.yourdomain.com. Well, that's not true. So I'm making this video to tell you guys otherwise. I did mail.yourdomain.com for Bluehost basic hosting, but it didn't work. So here I am again uh, telling clients. And let's see what a supervisor really says. So I'm going to put them on the spot. Thank you so much for waiting. Uh, my name is John. Who am I speaking with? Hi, John. This is Simon. Simon. Yeah. Hi. How can I help you? Hi. Just wanted to confirm what the DNS was for Bluehost. Um. What DNS? What type of DNS? Oh, I'm sorry. The I'm MX. So I thought the other person told you the MX record DNS. MX record should just be mail dot the domain name. If okay. it's for MX record. Okay, and uh, what if that doesn't work? Is there an alternative that Bluehost has? Maybe that there's something that's not online? Well, there are a couple of things we need to check since um, mail or, or, or we set the mail exchanger record to mail dot the domain name. We also need to check if the A record for mail dot the main name is pointed to our server. So it is pointed to your server. And um, we tried mail dot the domain dot com and it didn't work. And um, I have a little bit of a technical background. Mm -hmm. And uh, tried mail dot domain dot com didn't work. But then I tried the box number that's found in cPanel, box, the number, dot, bluehost.com, and it works. So can you tell me why that is that Bluehost doesn't stay online okay. on their, online on their, hold sure. on, no, just hold on a minute. Just, sure. Why doesn't Bluehost stay online on their tutorials, what the real MX record is? All right. Could you tell me what the domain name is? Uh, I can give you access to the account. There's only one domain there. But yeah. I just want to get... Yeah, please. 
the sure. domain name. Sure, the domain name is twinplumbing.com. It works with the box five three six eight and mail dot the main name is not. So if you take a look at mail dot twinplumbing dot com, you know how to use DNS checker. Do yeah. You know how to use I have access to the DNS. The point is, why didn't it work with mail dot your domain dot com? Why didn't it work with the actual yes. mail dot let's say twinplumbing dot com? But why did I'm it? I'm getting there, sir. Okay. I'm getting there. Sure. I'm trying to explain it in a way that we or I provide the information step by step. Please, okay. please do. We're yeah. very curious. So, yeah. So go ahead and open the zone editor of twinplumbing.com. Okay. You know where to check that, right? Yeah, I have it. Yeah. So in the list of A records, you won't see mail as a host. Okay. Okay. So that would be. Let me check. Oh, I see. You're. It is on our end, but you're using Cloudflare. So if a so if a so if a customer is using Cloudflare, they need to add the word box the number dot bluehost dot com. No. So. Uh, what happened is you are using Cloudflare as your name server and it doesn't have an A record called mail that points to our IP. That's why if you put mail.domain name or twinplumbing.com as your MX record, uh, the MX record no. cannot identify which server to connect. It's because not true. Mail dot plumbing the dot A record is correct. Is it pointed to any IP? not true okay anything else that, that's that's the only reason why it's not working when you add a mx record as box um 5368 this box 5368.bluehost.com is already pointed to the ip address where your account is associated. yeah because i just set it that's up why it works. okay mm -hmm. all right well so i th i thank you the reason i thank you for your time Welcome. Anything else? That is all. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, calling Bluehost. Yeah, have a good one. Bye bye. So Bluehost is telling customers that there's an extra step. Well, not really. They're giving me an explanation of why it didn't work. Do what I mentioned. I've done it for multiple accounts. That's the MX record. That's all you need to make the email account work. Now. You may need the A record for the hosting, but that's separate. Where this tutorial was only about the actual email accounts for Bluehost emails, Bluehost cPanel emails, the free one that comes with hosting. Any questions about it? Contact us. We want to help business owners. We've been getting this. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions actually with customers that use Bluehost, but they're not getting the email. And they are asking us, how do I get the email? Well, watch this tutorial again if you have any questions. There's also going to be a link to our website that has a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we hope this was helpful.